Hey guys, how's it going? So I thought I would start making videos again since I'm stuck at home as I will as I know that a lot of people are stuck at home uh, I'm quarantining with my family um, so I thought I'd have more time to make videos might as well make some videos so um, I'm gonna go over today I'm gonna do a EDC video it's gonna be when I go out during this pandemic, right? It's gonna, I'm gonna call it EDC, pan, or pandemic EDC. Uh, I don't go out very often. I've probably been out of the house for, in the last three weeks, maybe three times. So I try to go out once a week. And the reason why I'm going out is for stuff that I don't have at the house that I, that I gotta, that doesn't last over a week, like milk, bread, things along those lines. Um, so yeah, so when I do leave the house, I carry a few specific items. I carry, uh, it, it's, my, my EDC when I leave the house now is a little different than what it was before. Um, I carry um, not as much stuff. It's more minimalistic, right? I don't want to carry a whole bunch of things when I go out. I just want to go out, get my stuff, come back home. But I also want to have things that I that I make sure to have on me while I'm outside, outside the house. Um, and a few of the other things are something that I would carry all the time, and I do carry all the time. So yeah, so I'm going to do that video today. That's going to be the, t the, the title of this video, and it's going to be what I'm going to go over to today. Um, but I'm also going to start making a few other videos. As you can see up here, I have a couple bags up here. And um, the reason why I point those out, because it has a lot to, you know, the reason why I have those, and I'm glad that I have those, would be for situations like this. You know, I'm not, I don't consider myself a... Uh, hardcore prepper but I am I, I do have stuff you know I have supplies I have enough food in, a, in my garage for my family for the next year I, and I've always had that and I have enough water here for over a year which I've always had um, I'm not one of those people who went out and bought a whole bunch of stuff when all this stuff happened I already had it in place but um, I, I wasn't planning for a, pa a pandemic I mean I, I don't have you know I don't have a bunch of masks uh, I, I know a lot of hardcore preppers would have a bunch of masks. I don't have a lot of a lot of masks. I do have a few um, um, regular type masks, not the N95, but just the regular blue masks. I have a couple of those that I don't. I don't have a lot. I, mean, I have enough. Enough. I have enough for if I needed to use them, I could use them. But I do have a lot of uh, latex gloves, which I carry, which I put on every time I go out, which I'll have on here, obviously, as far as one of my EDCs when I go out during these times. Um, so yeah, and then also. You know, like I said, I'm going to make the new videos. I'm going to do the videos on those two, uh, on those two bags and a few other videos. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm going to steer a little bit way toward a little bit away from fishing. Um, I still fish a lot. I haven't fished a lot this year because, like I said, I've been staying home and I haven't been going out when I don't need to. Uh, obviously, going fishing is probably okay. It's something that you could do and which I would encourage people to do because, you know, fishing, is, you could be an isolated thing. It could be just you and your, your kids or something going out fishing and there's no... There shouldn't be too many people around you, depending on where you live. Here in Colorado, I mean, I can go up in the mountains and not see a person all day. Um, so yeah, so we're going to start making videos about, you know, uh, I, I don't want to say personal defense. I'm not going to turn into a gun channel. Uh, I do have guns. I do own guns, and I do. They believe that uh, with all the people who are buying guns. Uh, I think that putting out a little bit of information would be good. Uh, as you can see, there's a sign, over there, or there's a flag over there that kind of, I don't want to say that it qualifies me, but I do have some knowledge because of that flag. And um, so I'm going to do some some um, personal defense. Uh, I'm not going to teach you how to do, you know, how to carry a gun, how to, how to draw a gun, how to shoot. I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to go over what I have and then what I would recommend, I guess, to people who would be fairly new or if you aren't new, why I have what I have. Uh, as you all know that I am a, a very efficient person, I don't, I want to make it to where I don't rely on other people to, to, to make things for me. You know, I tie my own flies, I make my own baits. Um, I like to be self-reliant, right? So I make my own, I make my own bullets, I make my, my own ammunition, so that way when all this happened, I didn't, I wasn't rushing out there to go buy as much ammunition as I possibly could. I already had enough. And if I needed more, I could, I could, I could make it right. And I have the supplies to make it. I'm not going to show you guys how to reload and stuff like that because you're technically on YouTube. You're not allowed to have those type of videos. And I'm kind of steer away from all that stuff. I don't want to run into issues with with uh, YouTube. I just, but I do want to give a lot of information out there. As you can see, I have a box here that I just did. That's um, that my 308. 
Uh, 308 would be, I have an AR-10 and I use that for hunting, which a lot of people would wonder why I don't have a bolt action, but I have an AR-10, which I use chambered in 308. Um, so I reload my 308, have 9mm, reload my 9mm, I have 45 ACP, reload 45 ACP, whatever, down the line, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> I'm kind of rambling on. Uh, it's been a while. So. So yeah, let's go over the ADC stuff and there'll be videos down coming out down the road here very shortly. I'm going to try to do one a week, maybe two a week, um, until I run out of topics to talk about and then we'll move into uh, some other stuff. So uh, yeah, let's go up top. I'll do a bird's eye view of um, most of the items that I carry, then I'll come back and I'll talk about the few items that I carry that are not what you would call an everyday carry in normal life. Um, it'll pertain more to the, to the title of the video, which is Pandemic uh, EDC. So yeah, let's jump up top and take a look. All right guys, so now that we're up top, let's go ahead and go over the items. I'm not gonna lay them all out, I'm just gonna go over each item individually. So first is gonna be my knives. So I have two of them here. Now, um, there are differences with these knives. They're both the same make. They are Kershaw knives, as you can see. Both Kershaw knives. Um, the one I carry the most will be this guy. The reason why I carry this one is because it is super lightweight. This thing is next to nothing. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's a very nice knife and it is super, super light. Um, I don't even remember the name or the make of it. I will find out. I will get, I think it's um, the Faxon by Kershaw. I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll also link below on everything that's out here. So like I said, the reason why I carry this one is because it is super, super light. This knife weighs next to nothing. Um, it's a smaller frame. It's a smaller, I don't want to say smaller frame, but it's a smaller knife. It's not super huge. It's not assisted open. It's just, you know, like a, your regular open. Um, so yeah, I carry this one Primarily, this is the one I carry almost all the time. Uh, let's go over this one too. This one is assisted open. It's a much larger knife compared to this one. Let's compare the two. As you can see, it's a uh, much larger. So, um, so yeah, I carry this one when I'm up in the mountains or I'm out hunting or those type of situations. I carry this guy here. Um, it is a little different as far as the, the, the catch here. The catch is actually part of the frame. I have no idea what this one, the name of this one is. I'll have to look that up for you guys. Um, so let's go over why I chose these two knives. Well, this one here is about a $60 knife. I paid uh, $20, $29 for. Or no, actually it's a $30, it's a $40 knife that I paid $19 for. Uh, I bought it at Big Five. I don't know if you guys have Big Five Sports where you guys live, but I would have one here. And they always send out coupons 10 off of uh, 30. So um, this was on sale for um, 29 and I used the 10 off and got it for 19. Uh, this one was the same situation, bought it at Big Five. Um, it was actually, it's a $60 knife, I think. And I ended up paying, um, using the $10 off when I bought it when it was on sale. It was on sale again for, I think, $39. Used the $10 off, got it for $29. So I paid $30 bucks for it. So yeah, both of them are very nice knives. I would recommend anybody carry these. I know Amazon. I, th I don't know if Amazon carries these. If they do, I will link it below. All right, moving on. So the next thing I carry, which would be my watch, obviously, right? I always have my watch on. Um, this watch is a Samsung um, gear watch. Uh, I've had it for probably two years. I got it as a Christmas gift. Maybe three years I got it as a Christmas gift from the wife. I love this watch. I wear it everywhere I go. Counts, you know, counts how many steps I take. And it also um, tells me the time. <laughs> so yeah, I carry this every day. Next is going to be my phone. Now, obviously, this is something that everybody carries. I'm always carrying it when I go out. Um, it's a Samsung Galaxy S10, super cracked on the back. I don't know how that happened, but my camera situation is not doing too well. But, I mean, I still love my, my, um, my Samsung phones. I've never been an Apple guy, so I always carry a Samsung. Um, this is a fairly cheap 
uh, case that I have for it. I got off Amazon. I'll link that below. It is fairly cheap, but I really like it. For one, for one thing I really like is I've dropped this thing probably, I don't know, a hundred times and I've never cracked a screen. This back here, I have no idea how this happened. I just pulled it out of my pocket one day and this whole situation was going on. I don't know how it happened, but it wasn't because of the case. Um, so yeah, the case is fairly inexpensive, but man, it, it really works. It's got a hard shell on the outside, and then it's got an inside, um, an inside part to it. Let me take it, take it out here. It's got an inside rubber piece, and on here is a rubber piece. So when it hits the hard part, it hits the hard part, and then it's got the shock absorber rubber part on the inside. So yeah, that's why I, I like it. Uh, I'm not a person who goes out and buys extremely expensive otter boxes and stuff like that i just get something that's cheap that works it's got a really good review on amazon so there you go that's what i use and like i said i'll link below all right so the next thing i have here will would be my sunglasses right I, every time i go out i gotta have sunglasses so i have a couple pairs of sunglasses these ones are the ones that I keep in my truck. They're the most expensive sunglasses that I own. I've had them for probably five years. And um, I really like them. They're a darker, they're a little bit darker um, shade, or the, the, the actual sun blocking, uh, whatever you want to call it, it's a little darker. Um, they are Oakley's. They are the Oakley um, slivers. Uh, I just like them. They look good on my face. They are polarized, so they're good for fishing. Um, so, like, I, I wear these every day. I, I at least have a pair of sunglasses whenever I go out. These stay in my truck in the, su in the sunglass uh, keeper. So I always have them on me, and I always wear them when I go out. I always wear sunglasses when I go out. Next is going to be my EDC wallet. Now, I have a coach wallet that I have, too. It's super thick. It's got everything in it. it, it it's just a pain in the butt to... Uh, to carry probably giving me back problems but you know I, I carry that when i'm going to you know if i'm at work or something i don't carry it every day i carry it not very often to tell you the truth anymore but yeah this one is a king's mazzy uh king mazzy mazzy whatever you want to say it's, it's you know it's a cheap wa wallet from amazon i think it costs like 11 dollars i it's super super cheap um 12 bucks uh, it's got room for my my credit cards on both sides. has a room has a slot for my my ID. It has you know parts inside here, parts inside here, and then it's got your little piece that you carry cash inside here. Uh, like I said, it is super super light. That is why I carry it. It's light and it's minute. It, 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 there's not much to it, right? That's all. This stuff here is not much to it, and it's light because that's why I, when I carry stuff every day, I want to make sure it's light. So yeah, so there's my wallet. Nothing fancy. It's super cheap, but hey, it works, and I've had it for over a year, and it still looks brand new. Oh wait, it's also not leather. It's it's um, I don't want to say it's plastic. It, it's it, it's a I don't know what kind of material it is. I, I, I guess you could say it's plastic, but it, if you look on the inside, or you really can't see, but on the inside in there, it's it's got a liner to it. So it, maybe it's plastic, but it's a it's a durable plastic. Like I said, I've had it a year and it still looks brand new. So yeah. Last but not least is going to be this guy here. This is probably the coolest thing that I, I, I carry every day. It's a lighter. But it's more of a tactical lighter, right? Because it's actually, it's got, it's actual plasma. It's, uh, it's an electric lighter and it never runs out of gas. It's electric, it's, it's electric and it's plasma. So let's open it up. It's got a little latch here that slips over here to keep the, the, um, the lid on. Uh, you just pull this back then it's got a little button thing here. Button you press, press the button and it opens up. And then it's got your contacts here now if you're a smoker uh, i i guess you could light a cigarette with these I, i'm not a smoker a cigarette smoker so i i don't i i've never tried to light a cigarette with it but it does light wood and it lights you know obviously it lights um it'll light up uh it'll light up you know fire starter or whatever so yeah so it, it, it's really cool and now i'll go ahead and bring it up close and fire it and then uh, you can see in the middle it's got that cross with the plasma and that is super, super hot. You do not want to put your finger there. It will instantly burn you. Third degree burn instantly if you put your finger in there. 
Um, this thing is freaking cool. I mean, it, not only for its cool factor, but for its practical use too. I mean, it's going to be a lighter that will always, always work unless it breaks. It is waterproof, completely waterproof. The whole thing has got a rubberized finish to it. Um, on the inside, it's got a rubber seal. Uh, right here is how you charge it by using um, USB. You charge it here. Um, I keep it charged whenever I get home. I throw it on the charger next to my phone and, and I constantly charge it. So this thing is friggin' cool. You can get it on Amazon. I, I, I think it's the, it's not expensive. It's only, I, I want to say it's under $20, maybe a little bit more. But man, this thing is, if you're a camper or if you're someone who's out in the woods or something like that, this thing is almost a must. It's that freaking cool. All right, guys, so that's it. All my EDC stuff. I wear my ring too. But anyway. So let's go back, let's jump back up top and we'll talk about some of the other things up close again and, and, and my favorite things. And... All right, so let's go over the items that I would that I carry that's not normal ADC, EDC carrying stuff, which would be gloves, right? Um, I carry, I have a whole bunch of these. I probably have uh, 500 of them, which I've had. I, I mean, I use them for just a ton of stuff, right? I use them when I'm working on my cars. I use them for just, cleaning the house, whatever. I, I use them a lot, so I've always had them. I have, a, like I said, I have a bunch of them in there, and I usually buy them when they go on sale. Uh, so I have, so I carry these. I mean, they're the black, the black version. I also have the blue ones, whatever. I just carry the black, I just use the black ones whenever I go to Walmart or the grocery store. I mean, I mean, yes, I'm not gonna feel bad for wearing them. I wear them every time I go out. Um, next would be, a mask. I only have a few of these. I probably have uh, maybe uh, eight of them or so. Uh, I do reuse it. Uh, well, I, I, that's not true. I, when I go out, I just open up a new one and go out. Once I run out, they're gone, right? I, like I said, I only have eight of them. But um, we switch between me and my wife when we leave the house. She'll go sometimes once a week. I'll go once a week so that we switch off so there's less exposure, right? Uh, which I think is probably a good thing that you should probably think about doing too is if there's two of you in the house or you, if you're a married person or if you're um, uh, Got a girlfriend or whatever you both I wouldn't I, I don't I wouldn't go out together I mean if you're gonna go to a place that has people there don't go together uh, It sounds stupid right because you can you could get it when you're out there come home and give it to her, but there's, you know, if you're both out there, you're, there's a bigger chance that one of you is going to get it, right? Because you're just, statistically, you're more likely to get it if you're out with two people. That's why uh, Costco has come out with a new thing where no more than two people in the building for one card. Uh, so I, I would just suggest going out by yourself. Um, it's just, I don't know how much more safe it is, but it, it just statistically, you're better off, right? So yeah, so when I do go out, I use these. Like I said, I don't have very many of them. I only have like eight of them, so... I sometimes don't wear one because like I said if I go out I'm trying to go to the grocery store or Walmart I try to go at the very when it first opens when there's less people there during the week like on a Tuesday or I go um, at night before they close uh, it's hard to do it in the morning now because they open up earlier for the, the the elderly people which is a good thing and then once they open up to the general public I try to go and I try to go like you know 20 minutes after it opens to the general public so everybody's already in so I can avoid people as much as I can so those are the two items that I, that I don't normally carry as an EDC but I do now all right guys let's go ahead and wrap this one up uh, went a little longer than I thought it would be for an EDC video but I had a lot to talk about and I'm glad I went over some stuff with you guys so um, so yeah so, uh, like I said, I'll be making more videos coming up here more consistently. I have all the time in the world because I'm at home. I'm quarantining, uh, as I hope all you guys out there are doing. You know, stay safe. It's the only way to. It's the only way to fight this, right? Is this to stay home and, and not spread this, not catch it. Um, so yeah, until the next video, stay frosty, and I'll catch you guys later.